Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Craig Smith here with a little quick little let's draw on something. Uh, the topic states, you know, def, uh, there was a death at my uh, old former employer here in Memphis. Well, since I live in South Haven, South Haven is a suburb of Memphis. Uh, a young man by the name of uh, Dante Young. Uh, he was 23 years old. He was a 23-year-old young man. He had... Uh, he was fatally injured at the Memphis hub early Wednesday morning. Um, the sad part about this was that, um, uh, from what was said, Dante, uh, young was, um, uh, eager to hurry up and get off that Wednesday morning so he could celebrate his son's birthday, which was on that Wednesday. And now, uh, the son has no father. Uh, and what's been pulled up on the Daily Memphian, it said that a FedEx material handler who was fatally injured at the Memphis hub early Wednesday got his leg caught on a moving cargo container, a co-worker told authorities. Young was dragged about five to six feet by the container before his chest struck a roller, according to a Memphis International Airport Police Department incident report. A FedEx security officer told investigators he performed CPR on an unconscious and unresponsive young until the Memphis Fire Department paramedic unit arrived to transport young to the med where he was pronounced dead. And here's the killing part. Young had been on the job about two months, FedEx officials said. The incident happened early during uh, yeah. the incident happened during the early morning hours of the overnight shift at the hub. Okay. Now, this is where it gets, um, and the reason why I put on here, I said that a message to Memphis folks is this, and I'm going to make this short and simple. You know, like always, you know, uh, shout out to my guy, Jimmy J. Smooth. Jimmy had to get on folks in Memphis. I always want to speculate in regards to speculating shit about the James Wiseman situation. Now, I'm going to spec, now, I'm going to have to put uh, Memphis people on blast for a whole lot of speculation and about a lot of shit. First of all, first of all, you're going to have to deal with the fact that what the fuck go on in Memphis don't necessarily stay in Memphis, okay? FedEx is a nationally known fucking company. Internationally known all around the fucking world, so the news got all over the world. It made Houston, Texas. It sure in the fuck did. That's where my boy Jimmy lives. It made Chicago, Illinois, my hometown, and that's where most of my family live. So you got to, so you gonna have to deal with the so Memphis people are just gonna have to deal with the fact that the news is gonna fucking get out. Then um, I was told by a friend of mine who's gonna be remain, remain nameless that he found out through a friend of his that Dante got caught up in a net, was cut up by a net. And his guts are spilling out. Okay. But when I sent him this article, he come telling me that he going to believe what his friend told him don't fucking matter. That is some of y'all people's fucking problem. And I wish for people like that, I could just knock them upside their fucking head so goddamn hard they can have some goddamn, they have better, more some better morals about themselves. Their, uh, more, their moral compass can be straight that's what everybody's people problem is in memphis y'all got a lot y'all more compass is fucked up man i heard this and that you ain't heard a motherfucking thing then then people will get on wdia on the bobby oj show shout out to him be talking all that shit and he will and i get man hey i get my more power to him he put their ass on fucking blast quick Cause like about was an incident um about with the one about with the woman and by the way that one Dante Dante Young and that and that elder lady that was killed uh matter of fact the elder lady that was killed two years ago by a loader was dragged by a loader they were in no relation to Dante Young no relation none whatsoever now that I don't know I'll put that asterisk I really don't know okay. But the folks around here in Memphis need to, the folks around in Memphis in, in general need to stop spreading shit, stop spreading a whole bunch of out of fucking gossip real quick. 
Don't y'all know gospel can get your ass hurt? Seriously hurt, let alone get your ass killed. For real. You know, I had a person on uh, my on the on the group who said, damn, news spread around quick. Uh well, yeah. Like about like about the man, like about here in South Haven, the Walmart. Okay. You thought that was supposed to be kept on the low low, like hey, above folks is on to the time. Like, damn, that news get out quick. Well, you're damn right, because one it's Walmart. Okay. So you expect the news for it to hit. So this shit is not gonna fucking goddamn pass. But I got but you know, but let me before I, I got sidetracked, what I would say. First and foremost, Dante, um, <clears throat> thoughts and prayers to Dante Young's um, family, his mother, his father, sister, mother, and his mother, father, and sister, and everywhere else. Thought, thoughts and prayers go out to him. Condolences. Second, you know, I'm gonna say my I'm gonna say my prayers to most of you Memphis folks because you, some of you all got need, y'all need y'all motherfucking moral compass check for real. Y'all compass just like uh Johnny Depp's compass and uh y'all more compass is just like Johnny Depp's compass and uh the Pirates of the Caribbean is going all kinds of ways, and that's how y'all thinking is. What's been reported in the Daily Memphian, what was reported on the article about what happened, and any other article what happened is fucking true. So if if y'all that damn stupid to believe what the fuck y'all want to believe, hell, y'all y'all asses will believe the fact that the devil will come out will come from the mouth of hell to to help perform good deeds for people. Y'all has to be stupid enough to believe that shit. And I'm tired of it. Just like y'all were speculating about with this James Wise situation. Y'all don't know a whole motherfucking goddamn thing till y'all actually take the fucking time to read shit. You know, if you can read rap verse, if you can read to me about some hearsay about what the fuck Y'all saw on Google and all this other damn shit or whatever, then, then hey, or and and reading some little uh petty bone ass news website, then y'all need to take the time to dig up the facts. The Daily Miffian is a fucking a, is a damn a, a, a legit source, and for folks not to believe that, uh, shout out to my one viewer, whoever you are. And for people to not want to believe that, you gotta be stupid as a motherfucker. That young Dante did not get stuck, did not get caught up in the net, and the shit cut up on him. How the fuck a net gonna cut, gonna uh, cut up some goddamn body and spill the guts out? Yeah, I'm 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 making I'm making an example of this. What was told from a, from, a, from a friend of mine through his friend of his. I don't want to fucking believe that shit. But I'm glad at the time when he told me that, that that article did post up and after getting through reading and when what and what he had to fucking nerd tell me. Uh, and I'm going to pull it up. I'm going to pull up what he said. It's just fucking insulting. And, that, and that's like and that was the final time. And after I told him, do not fucking insult my intelligence. What's up, Marcus? After that, and, and he's not the only one I asked. I've asked people, do not. Be dumb and do not call yourself get being smart enough to insult my intelligence. And you fucking did it anyway. Well, guess what? Payback is a bitch. Because like them and all the rest of all these Memphis people that want to fucking believe every goddamn thing they want to goddamn hear, you need your motherfucking compass goddamn check. You need a, you need a goddamn reality check about your own, about y'all motherfucking self. Y'all believe every fucking thing there is. Any motherfucking thing. Y'all has to believe shit smelled. You, you took a good ass shit to the point where it smelled like roses, but in the end, it's, and you knew it stink. But you'll convince a motherfucker, man, my shit smelled like some some uh, cin- cinnamon uh, cinnamon bisque and shit like that. No damn well y'all shit stink. That young man did not get caught up in no net and got caught. But what was uh, what was said to me when I when I sent him the article was I didn't read nothing and what you what I, what you talking about me talking about it doesn't matter and I said well damn this act dude this is what actually happened what the fuck so he said well this is where our opinion differentiates 
I believe such and such because they work there and they work in the area, so they have firsthand knowledge of what has happened. That's y'all problem, y'all. That is every motherfucking body's problem today. Y'all, especially people in Memphis, not just people in Memphis, it's people in general, but mainly, but yeah, but mainly Memphis people. They believe what the fuck they goddamn want to fucking believe first fucking hand. The young man did not get caught up in no net. The news about the young man's death is going to fucking goddamn travel. And, they, and what this says about FedEx as a whole is this. They've been getting away with so much damn bullshit as far as employee deaths and everything else. It's not even fucking funny. 2014, when Chandler won, God rest his soul, the young man would have been 25, 24, 25 years old this year. Chandler Warren, 19 years old, was fucking murdered by that old team out there at FedEx. Yeah, I said it. And, and them motherfuckers are still working out there. They were murdered. Murdered. And they and, and they are still working out there. And they swept that shit on the rug. Again, murdered. What FedEx do? Pay the family off to keep their damn mouth shut. But mom, but I'm I'm sure Chandler's mama, but she still ain't going about that shit. Hell, I wouldn't either. And in an interesting note, it, it was a it's a group on it, it's a little group that I chatted with on uh, that I chatted with. I had to distance myself from it because all the you know when he got married, I mean he got married when he got murdered. All of the uncle, all of the damn uncle Toms and the coons that was responding to that shit, talking about some man, I'm gonna keep working. If my my if my uh, son, my mom, my dad died. Or whatever, my son. If I work out there, my son or daughter uh, was working out there and they died. I ain't, they ain't gonna stop me from working. I'm gonna keep working. You ain't nothing but a fucking damn underpaid Uncle Tom ass slave. If you if you had that mentality, hell, I worked out that job 14 years. I'm glad to fuck. I got the fuck on down. I didn't want to get hell. I didn't want to get killed out there. That was one thing, and that was the second thing. And the main thing was I relocated. You got to get out, you know. And, and what appalls me is people are still stuck in their damn comfort zone out there. You got to get the fuck up out of your damn comfort zone. But um, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna end this shortly. But the final word, my final word on this, and with the with this, uh, with the young man's death, with the uh, on this is this: the lawyer that's going to be representing Dante, you know, or, or from I don't know who the lawyer is, but whoever that lawyer is going to be, I hope they take FedEx to the fucking bank. And I hope everybody at work out there get a fucking damn wake up call because your your asses need to get the fuck them on out of there. And all you Memphis folks, whenever Memphis, whenever death happened in Memphis, wherever the fuck it is, at a job or whatever, stop going by first. Stop going by what the fuck you hear firsthand and find out the information your damn self. That's what you got laptops for. That's what you got computers for. Laptops, desktops, and that's what you got cell phones for. If you spend all your time Insta Instagram and Snapchatting and TikToking and all the other shit, then TikTok your ass on the fucking to a news site and find out what the fuck going on. Cause it's some of y'all out there, like I said, it's it's, it's some of y'all got a moral complex so fucked up. I wanna I wanna punch y'all on the fucking ooh, I really do. I wanna hit y'all on the fucking head so goddamn fucking hard. Y'all ass y'all ass have a. Y'all morality, y'all way of thinking to be even, y'all even killed. But you know, but like I was told, a lot of people don't think like me. You're right because if y'all had a brain like mine, because see, I think common, I have common sense and I think rational. But if y'all, if some of y'all had a brain like mine, y'all be y'all be so fucking goddamn fucked up. It it it'll be too good for y'all. It'll be too good for y'all mind for y'all 
body to handle. Y'all need to stop believing shit the first thing y'all fucking hear. You know, y'all need to stop that shit. And I'm sick of it. So the young man, so again, Dante Young, 23, he's 23, 25 years old. He passed away. He died. He's not related. He is no way in no shape or form related to the woman that died two years ago at FedEx. And bottom line is this. If you work in the FedEx, Memphis Hub, get the fuck up on out of there. And all you Memphis people and everybody else, stop fucking believing the first goddamn thing y'all goddamn here and going by and find and find out shit for yourself. Meaning with your fingertips. Let your fingers do the walking. But I digress. Y'all don't know how to, y'all let y'all know how to let y'all fingers do the walking in some departments either. And you make yourselves look stupid. You make yourselves look bad. More, more on let's draw on some more on tomorrow's episode. And let's draw on something about this subject. I'm Craig Smith. I'm out. Oh, and by the way, on a final note. Y'all need to stop acting like a bunch of simple Simon ass motherfuckers and learn how to think properly. I'm out.